The brilliance in the Hubble Space Telescope design is the built-in servicing. Now it came at a cost, but it was co-designed at the same time as the Space Shuttle. The Space Shuttle was being developed, and so the designers of Hubble were able to say, okay, the, the shuttle has a payload bay robotic arm, and we can utilize that to grapple it. We don't have to dock with the Hubble. Uh, you know, the spacewalkers will have this capability, you know, so we'll design the interfaces so that you know, doors open and this kind of stuff. Uh, and the payload bay size, Hubble is matched to the payload bay of the shuttle. And so that co-design allowed Hubble to have much more serviceability and as a result, uh, we've been able to reinvent the telescope five times. The James Webb Space Telescope will be launched by expendable rocket a million and a half miles away, and so we've not put any serviceability into it. What's really exciting about where I think we are going in human spaceflight, perhaps with the commercial partners, with leaving low Earth orbit, developing capability to go at more distant destinations with humans and with robotic spacecraft, uh, that we have the opportunity to design the next generation telescope after James Webb to co-design that with the architecture that includes humans. And so that gives us an opportunity to either build much larger telescopes or more capable telescopes than James Webb, using people, using robotics, uh, perhaps serviceability so that we can update those telescopes as they'll be big uh, investments. And the opportunity is that we may be able to build telescopes that have the capability to detect life on extrasolar planets. And I think that's too good to pass up. Thank you.